So you guys enjoyed my last hidden iPhone settings video that I've made a while back and you know what the support on this one has been so amazing that I'm so thankful to you guys and you guys absolutely blew me away with this one. So today I decided to make a second part of this video showing you guys not settings but actually features that will of course make your life a little bit easier with your iPhone. And of course guys if you will enjoy the video definitely be sure to throw a big thumbs up on this one. Uh, can we hit like a hundred likes on this video? That would be super much appreciated and possibly share this video with friends, family, anyone who'd be interested in it. And now, without wasting any more time, guys, let's go ahead and get in. And the first one is in the keyboard. So go ahead and go to the notes app, for example, and go ahead and just uh, press on this little symbol on your keyboard and just long press on it, just like that. And there is an option to select the left shift and the right shift option of this keyboard. So I'm gonna select the right one because I'm right handed. And this one is especially useful for this iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 10R models of the iPhone and even plus models and so it makes this whole typing experience a little bit better with just one hand. As you can see I'm able to reach this symbol but it's a little bit harder to reach uh, somewhere in here in this area. So Apple made it exactly for people who type with one hand. And the next one is in the camera. So if you go into your camera app, the stock one, as you can see there is a zoom kind of a, this toggle, 1x zoom and 2x zoom and you can actually zoom like that but that's a little bit like wasting your hands on this whole zooming function. So there is a, a little bit better and just easier way to do that with just one hand. So if you go ahead and just press on it, and do like that, as you can see, you can smoothly zoom into the 1x, 1.5x, and even 4.6x, and this is so amazing. So you don't need to actually use to both hands when just taking this uh, photographs. And we all had this situation. For example, if you're downloaded just a new app and you need to provide an email up there in this uh, text field for your email and the password, but that takes a lot of time to do, but there is an easier solution for that, guys. So go ahead and go into your settings, uh, go into the general and then scroll down until you see the keyboard now you need to look for the text replacement and up here as you can see you can add the text re text replacement for for example the symbol ads and this will actually replace it with your email so you don't need to type your whole email every single time you register an application or you send uh, for example someone your email and stuff like that so uh, let me just show you a demo so in here I can just type in uh, the symbol ads let me just show you and it gets replaced with my email, like that. So it's super simple and to add it, just go ahead and click on this plus sign, a phrase, just go ahead and provide this add symbol and now just provide your email and that is it. Now this next one is mostly targeted for this Face ID enabled devices because on the Touch ID side we don't have such a problem to add other people into your iPhone. Well, you can actually add, for example, your child into your iPhone so it will now recognize them uh, as the owner of this iPhone and you don't need to provide your password every single time they want to play with your phone. So in order to do that just go into the settings and then scroll down until you see the Face ID and the passcode, provide a password in here. And now once you're here, as you can see, there is an option for setting up an alternate appearance. So that's not only works for you, but can actually work for your brother, for your sister, for your child, anyone. Just go ahead and click on this one. And now you can set up another person inside of your face ID. And now your iPhone will recognize them as their primary owner. And this last one is about people who love reading online some news, some articles on the internet, but there are some websites, of course, that have ads that don't work properly and stuff like this. So to make a cleaner look of, for example, some article, there is just one button that will change it all. So in here, in this address bar, just go ahead and click on this uh, button in the uh, left top corner. And as you can see now, this whole article looks absolutely amazing. So it looks as if Apple wrote this whole article on their own page. So you can go ahead and just adjust some settings inside of here. You can make it, of course, white. There is a dark mode available. You can even go ahead and just uh, change the fonts to Times New Roman or Georgia and or San Francisco, the stock one. So it's super amazing. You can now easily read any article or any web page without any distraction. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, definitely be sure to hit the like button because that would be super much appreciated. And in the future, I will probably make a part three of this video if you guys want. And that's the end of the video, but there are 400 other videos waiting for you on my channel right now. So if you're interested in any iPhone customization, modification, uh, you're in the right spot. And as always, guys, have a great day. Peace.